Okay, after being able to show some dummy forms there, um, the next step is to start performing the locking actions. And for the locking form, it's here. So um, this one will have J text field for this text box, J password field um, for this password, and I give this name is txt or the name and txt password for this. Then I have a button for um, um, cancer, which is J button here, and I name it um, BTN cancer, and as a J button for um, locking or BTN locking, and the two labels I will not get names for them because we don't access them in the code anyway. So we'll start um, designing this and um, perform the code for it. So for the form logging, we'll um, design that a bit. Then this one I have first label for um, username. I'm um, changing the um, data for this too. So this one was say logging. And then I will click on this label. Um, then change edit text. This one is username. I will drag in another label, which is called I click, and this one is password to the label. Um, sorry, it's, uh, the step that I changed the uh, logging was a bit fast, so I have to click outside and click outside to the form before um, changing the title. Okay, when you're clicking on this, you cannot change that title, so you have to change title of the form, not of the label. Now, the next one we're going to add in is gonna be a um, text field for this and uh, drag it out a bit. Then we'll have a password field. Um, this one here okay then drag it out a bit you may just try to rearrange it a bit so it looks better right click on this one edit the text right click on this one edit the text delete um, right click on this one change purple name um, txt txt um, username this one will be right click and txt password then we'll have a button for this one. Okay, and this one will have a button for, um, let's say right click, edit text, um, add, oh, okay. You may have a button for um, cancer, um, but, but, but let me just stop with locking. Um, then next we'll have a button, okay. Okay, so here's the form done. So when Whenever you um, want to perform the login, you get the username from here, you get the password from here, then you perform the login. But when you want to perform the login, you need to um, go to the database and check if the username and password is this. In that case, we start having the first class, which is the start handler over here. So I'm right click on data access object. Then we're going to create a new Java class, and this one will say um, star handler because it's going to handle um, database connection to the star. And whenever you create a new star handler, I'm going to do all the insert um, constructor. I will create one private um, SQL util. SQL util. Okay, and whenever we start, we'll have SQL. SQL util equal to new SQL util class that we created earlier. Now we have um, SQL utility is already we, we need to create our, our public star and control space, control space again to choose a start from bail, BO, business object. Then we'll have um, star, we'll do um, login and we'll need to provide string username. Um, string password then we're going to create a string command string the SQL command which is select everything from start no not everything we should not select everything because it includes the username password and username password is known so we should not select them out should not store them actually so this one will just do star um, ID star name from serve. You may select the ROM if you do authorization. Okay, then um, it's going to store it into a result set, control space over here. 
okay um rs equal to sql util that we created earlier um, execute query that is a command there then we have var rs dot next so as long as we can point to the next row for this current row we get info row um, before that we need to surround this um, what we try catch then okay and um, we're going to create a stop stf equal to null and if we couldn't create a stop or return that null stop but if we could we need to create that stop over here so in order to create the stop we need to get the stop id and get the stop name uh, from the stop where username equal to something and password equal to something so from here we i start having to use string dot format where username equal to first string and password uh, let me see the start table again so i need to get back to the start table um can search this login I need to know what is inside that start table. Um, it's a student database that I use over here to select everything. So I'll say, oh, it's start username and start password. So I have to say start username and start password. So where is start ID? <laughs> start username equal to first string and serve password equal to the second string and I need to put username and password here then um, um, if that one has next or um, just if next because there are many of them but, but we only take the first one with that username and password assuming that the username is unique so you'll get the um, int star of id equal to um, result set dot get int from the column name is star of id from the result set that after we execute the query then we'll have string um, star name equal to rs dot um, get string from that and which is star name then we have the ID and the name, we create a new star. So um, star equal to new star with star ID and star name there. Okay, so here we have the star handler code, which actually create a command given the username and password, then it's query the data. And if there is a data, then we take the first one by moving next point of the first row, then we get the sub ID stop name out, then we create a new stop object. Okay, then we return that. So we got back to the form login. Now if you click on login, okay, then um if you I think before um this one we first get their username and password so string um, username equal to txt username which is a text field that we named before then we'll do get text um, string password equal to txt password um, get password but get password it's going to return you an array of characters not a string so you need to convert it into a new string so you said new string Okay. Then when you have the username and password, you'll just use a stop handler to look in. So star equal to um, equal to star handler that we could it just now. New stop handler. Create new object. Then say login username and password. Then if is different from um, 
no, it means that it's successfully looking. We'll just close this form. Um, this dot close, uh, close, please pose it, please pose, yep. Otherwise, else it means that um, user failed to log in. You'll do some um, things here, but then for me, just inform the user j option ping dot show message dialog. Okay, this is the component, and the message will be um, incorrect username and password. So if it is successful, um, we need to do one more thing before disposing as well, which is to set um, the currently login to global data. Global data. Okay, then um, serve equal to the stop. This one is a currently login user, so that won't use the ID later on. For this one, we will try to run the application again. Okay. The video recording is making this pretty slow, but I think that should be fine. So if you click on um, login, then it show you the form for login, and if I I um, let me just go and um, select and see. So select everything from um, start. So you should see that there is a start. The username is your account and the password is passed. But let me just type something um, string here and see if they can log in. Okay, it's say incorrect um, username and password or password. Okay, so you will say a account and you do um, pass p a s s. So if you click on login, uh, it seems to be successful because it's just disposed of form and no errors over here. So that is it for um, login. Now, by default right now, I didn't switch the check login. So if you click on add, it still does not um, log in. But let me switch that into um, form. So from here into true, sorry. So when you show form, when you show form, by default, you check for login. So we can say true. So if you run, okay. Oh. Okay. And um, you haven't logged in. You want to try to add. It will show the login form first. Okay, we'll show you the login form first. Okay, so if you do login a account, um, pass, click on login, um, then it successfully login, then you're going to just go add. Now it's okay, it's show the um, add form because you already log in. So that is it for um, login. And the next one we should go and add some students.